Hey everyone, we've been playing around a lot with this artificial intelligence image generator, and what have we done with this awesomely powerful neural network? Use it to make new Pokemon, obviously. And we've been getting some pretty cool results with basically no understanding of how to use it. So we've input all of the grass starter types, and let's see what it comes up with. We've found that depending on your settings, the AI can take anywhere between a long time and a very long time to process images. So let's go take a look at the first few batches of brand new grass type Pokemon and figure out which one we'd like to bring to life as a 3D model. So our very, very first attempt that we tried, we generated these four images only with Bulbasaur. They are crazy looking. You can see obviously that they're Bulbasaur and I have no idea where the AI gets any of the other things that it chose to add to this. It's crazy. It looks like interpretive art of Bulbasaur. Like, this one looks kind of like a mountain, maybe? Like, there's maybe letters or words or something on a couple of them. It's... They're cool looking. I... Like, this one almost looks like art from the original game. So, I don't know if it also takes in other things from the internet or how it works at all. I have no idea how this program works. I'm... I'm trying though, I'm trying a whole bunch of different settings constantly. They're beautiful, I especially love this one. That that thing is amazing looking, this first guy's a monster, so I'm not... <laughs> They're cool though, it's crazy. And this grouping down here is like the rest of the ones that we've done. I noticed that they pretty much all have black backgrounds, which I'm pretty sure is that they're rendered out as JPEGs and I input PNGs, so that's just like it trying to work out the transparency. This was incredibly exciting. <laughs> Just look at them all. Look at the guy in the middle here. He's got a mouth that isn't on any of the input images. We got people with, like that one looks like a cow. Uh, this guy's got like an ear pod or something <laughs> with him. I love these, they're crazy cool. Let's take a closer look at him. Uh, this first guy, he looks like a bug. You can kind of see his eye is turtwigs, but like where did he even get Maybe he's like Snivy and like a bunch of pieces of him stuck together. You could make a really cool Pokemon out of this. He looks almost like like a hedge, right? Like maybe a reptile hedge. I mean, that's pretty much what all of the like Snivy and Trico are already. Turtwig, Bulbasaur. You could make something cool out of this if you kind of just based it loosely off of this. This next guy looks like a like a nut or something you can kind of see Bulbasaur's feet but then he's got like an upturned hand maybe it's like a backwards grookey where did he even get that eye from whose eye is that I don't have any idea and then he has like a tongue coming out of the top of his head or maybe that's like a stem it's adorable you could make a really good Pokemon out of this one too this guy is crazy. Uh, is, it, is that Bulbasaur's eyes, kind of? How are they... He looks like an owl slightly, but like, upright? I don't know, you could make an amazing one. I don't know where any of his pieces are coming from. Maybe Chespin's hands? His feet look like little, little ninja, <laughs> like, toes. They're cool looking, he's got a tail. Is he a monkey? I can't tell. He's adorable, though, I love it. This thing is just like a Blobosaurus Rex. <laughs> if you roughly based a Pokemon on its shape, you could get some really cool results though. I don't know if I've really seen many like hunched over or flying starter types. Flying starter types would be really cool. It's adorable though. It still somehow manages to be cute even though it doesn't even have a face. This one almost looks like Tyranitar, or like maybe it has like a cowling like Ralts does. You could see something really cool coming out of that. It's got like this big spiky tail. I haven't really seen like an Ankylosaurus type Pokemon before. So like a two-legged Ankylosaurus. It could even be like Psychic Grass. That'd be a crazy... I think something really neat could be done with this. It's almost easier when it doesn't have a face though to like play with it way more. You can see like this top part could be its head turned or maybe it's just a really big leaf covering its face you know you could you could do something really cool with every single one so far <laughs> I, I love this guy i i struggled for a little while looking at his eyes to place them it's rowlet they're rowlet's eyes removed right and it's got even like rowlet's little mouth down there <laughs> look how cute he is he's got like the perfect derp face 
maybe not a perfect Pokemon, but like you could see a Ditto trying to transform into this thing. It's horrifying, but adorable. This 100% looks like, what what is it, Hitmontop's baby form, right? Like if Hitmontop was a leaf Pokemon or we had like a fighting grass Pokemon, that would be it. Look at how adorable it is. You can even see like it's in like an action pose. It's got like its leg out and its arm like posed. Like where did it get those arms? Is where did those eyes yet again? They're like Rowlets, but merged with something else. And the two little leaves off of Turtwig, but then it has like a very sharp pointy head, which I don't actually see any of the starters having. It's <laughs> this one's primo adorable. The first thing I want to say is, where did that mouth come from? He's so cute. You can see his eyes are kind of a mix of like Snivy and Chikoritas, but that mouth is super adorable. This is completely different from any of the starters, which is really cool. And his weird little like, like it looks like a vine, right? Like you could see the evolutions of this thing being like a giant bean sprout coming out of like a T-Rex. That would be amazing, right? Like a T-Rex that's grown out of vines. It could keep its little head and have T-Rex arms and legs that are just vines. That would be amazing. Oh, look at how cute it is. This is clearly just Bulbasaur's face with little mouth. It's kind of got some blobbiness happening, but if you were to s just kind of focus that in and use that face, 100%, 100% adorable. I love it. This one has probably the most clear Trico face, right? It's It looks like maybe Ekans slash Trico with little Chikorita bodies <laughs> and Chikorita leaf, 100%. It looks crazy cool though. I love it. I love this one too. I love them all. I love them all. You can't, can't, can't stop me from loving them. Now, I wonder what happened with this because clearly that's like, that's like an AirPod or something <laughs> or like a mixture of an AirPod and those old wireless headsets. And then you got like a ghost. You can see, where's those eyes on any of the, the green eyes? I have no idea. It's got like a tooth hanging out below it and it's just this blobbish terrifying ghost monster that's trying to sell me <laughs> trying to sell me earbuds and here's another one that you can see the inspiration that it's drawn but that thing doesn't exist over here right that's a that's a bird face 100% a bird face it's got the cool snivy leaf for its tail and then it has you could definitely see this thing kind of like bird of paradising as it evolves right like more and more colorful plumage that are leaves around it. That could be really cool. That could be a really cool Pokemon. This guy, I am partially amazed by. You can see that the orange is off of Grookey, but it's a mushroom. There's not really mushrooms in the starters. That thing's a mushroom octopus. <laughs> that's, that's a cool Pokemon. Or like a bug. It kind of has like a shell maybe, but the face, yet again, where did those square eyes come from? It's got like two square eyes and then like a little mouth. This thing could also evolve into like a samurai bug octopus. That'd be awesome, right? You, could, you can see it. You could see it happening. I love it. This guy looks like a plant, actually. Like, the rest of them kind of have more of like a... And he's got like a little seed next to him. Maybe, maybe you plant him as a berry and then he grows into a Pokemon. That would be awesome. He's got, like, little carrot arms. <laughs> like, how cool would it be if you, like, planted, like, a little pea, and then he bloomed after watering him for, like, three days, and then you just got a Pokemon out of it? That'd be awesome, right? That'd be a different way to start, right? If you had to, like, grow your Pokemon. <laughs> You'd feel more attached to him, maybe. I, I like his leaves. I like everything about this guy. His little adorable face. Where is his eyes from? They're, like, it's like Turtwigs eyes turned into two eyes and a face. It's adorable, I love it. I can't even begin to fathom what happened on this one. Uh, you can see clear Pokemon things happening here, <laughs> uh, but it, it even 
completely expanded the borders so that it's covering like any of the the black background that the rest of them have it just made this big big cube I, I wonder how this happened you can see almost like a Picasso face in there it's got like two different eyes or maybe that's an ear it, it could be like uh this could be almost two horns coming out of it that could be like a legendary Pokemon <laughs> like Come on, like, the way Arceus and, uh, all the Dialka look, that thing could be legendary for sure. Oh, oh my god, look at, look at him! <laughs> that thing's, that thing is the cutest. <laughs> got the two big eyes, the little tiny face. It's got, like, little tiny arms, or maybe those are ears. It's little, little, like, bug legs. It's, that thing's adorable. Th where did that tree thing come from, though? Because it took... Turtwig's leaves and doubled it and put them behind it. I don't know. The way this thing works is crazy. This thing's adorable too. I love it. This guy for sure has like a razor arm, like a scyther arm there. He doesn't really have a noticeable face, but you can tell that he's kind of frog shaped. A big tongue maybe, or maybe that's his face. I wouldn't be able to tell. The thing that I like, or the thing that I find really weird, is that you don't really see the patterning from the actual starters repeating in any way. Like, the, on the first four, clearly you can tell that thing has, like, Bulbasaur's patchworking or, like, scales. But the color schemes are really mixed up. They're entirely... Like, you can see each thing has pieces of everything, and that's crazy. Except for this next guy, who's a cow. Where did that even come from? Like, it's got cow eyes. It looks like a cow, right? It's even got... That thing's a cow. 100%. Where did that come from? You can kind of see colors, but, like... It would have had to, like, take Rowlet's legs to make that whole thing. And it looks like a little smiley cow. That mouth is maybe chest pins, but it's on, like, a... A cow snout. That's... That's a cow. It's adorable. And 100% not at all a grass Pokemon, so I don't know how that made that. These were all pretty amazing, and we've got some very strong contenders for being turned into models. So we're just going to pick one of our favorites and model it. We chose this little bean sprout guy. It was pretty difficult to choose just one that we wanted to model. Uh, you want to model them all. Maybe we will. We'll see. But. This guy was adorable, and I loved the whole thought of actually like planting and growing a Pokemon. Even if he wasn't a starter Pokemon, just getting a random mysterious seed, planting it, growing it, and getting a Pokemon, you'd want to do that anyway. That sounds fun to me, and I would enjoy that. We had a blast making these. This is the coolest thing ever. We're probably going to make a few more of these, so I hope you like them. By a few more of these, I mean like a lot more, so I hope you like them. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like the video, subscribe if you're not, and leave us a comment on what you'd like to see us make. If you'd like to help our channel grow, share our video. We also have a Patreon. Thanks again. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye.